I am Sujani, Faculty in Physics at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to see the demo of numerical aperture of a given optical fiber. The aim of the experiment is to determine the numerical aperture of a given optical fiber. Numerical aperture tells us about the light gathering capacity of a given optical fiber. Nowadays, we use optical fibers for all communication purposes. The main advantage of using optical fiber is for speedy communication and for minimum loss of signal. And also, whenever we use uh, optical fiber, we need to know its light gathering capacity. That is why we need to understand how to calculate the numerical aperture. Apparatus consists of a light source. This is the light source. A step index fiber, optical cable of 1 to 10, 2 meter long. We have different types, step index and graded index fibers. So here we are using the step index fiber of 1 to 2 meters long. So this cable is 1 to 2 meters long. And we have a numerical aperture measurement jig. So this is the jig we are talking about. So you have a scale like graduations with a screen here. There is a screen and we, are draw, we have drawn concentric circles of fixed radius. So the light that comes out from the source passes through the optical fiber and the output comes from here. The output is now captured on the screen. So this is the apparatus and the setup. Now, Coming to the theory, the numerical aperture is a measure of the light collected by the optical system. It is a product of the refractive index of the incident medium and the sign of the angle of acceptance. So when you write the formula for numerical aperture, we write it as Na is equal to Ni into sine theta A. And here, Ni is a refractive index of the incident medium. Generally, when we are taking for air, N is equal to 1 for air. So, the formula reduces to numerical aperture is equal to sin theta A. Because N is equal to 1 for air. Now, light from the end A will fall on the screen BD. So, from here, the light which is coming from the source traveling through the optical cable and at the end A, the output that is coming out is allowed to fall on the screen BD. BD here is the screen. A is the point from where we are getting the output. Now, the distance between the screen and the output is taken as capital L. Capital L is AO. From A, to O from the output point to the screen, it is L. Now, if we see the triangle here, A, O, B, this is a right angle triangle and sine theta is given by O, B upon A, B, that is opposite side upon hypotenuse. We know the value of A, O, which is L and we get the value of O, B from the radius of the circle. Because the image that is formed, we are capturing it in terms of concentric circles on the screen. So, find the radius that gives R. Now, OB is equal to R. We can calculate AB using the formula R square plus L square power half. This is nothing but the Pythagoras theorem we use. So, AB square is equal to OA square plus OB square. So, and then we have to find sine theta. Numerical aperture is given by sine theta. We have got the formula. So, what is sine theta? R upon R upon R square plus L square power half. Knowing R values and L values, we need to know only the value of R and L. We can calculate the numerical aperture. And if we can substitute this in equation 1, the first equation, N is equal to sine theta A, we can calculate the numerical aperture. And we can also calculate the acceptance angle using sine inverse. Na. Once you get the numerical aperture, the acceptance angle theta or we may sometimes write it as theta A can be calculated. 
Now let us see the demo of the experiment. Let us now see the demo of how to determine the numerical aperture of a given optical fiber. The apparatus required is a light source, an optical fiber cable of about 1 to 2 meter length and a numerical aperture measurement jig and a screen to capture the image. The principle of numerical aperture lies on the light gathering capacity of the optical fiber. More the light gathering capacity, more the numerical aperture of the optical fiber. Let us see the arrangement. We have a light source. From the light source, light travels through the optical fiber and reaches the other end. With the help of this measurement jig, we vary the distance between the screen and the output. By varying the distance, we measure the size of the image that is formed and find the radius. One end of the optical fiber here is connected to the light source. So light enters the optical fiber through this end. It travels through the optical fiber and comes out at the other end. Now, whatever light that comes out on the screen can be captured on the screen. As we vary the distance between the screen and the output, the size of the image formed also varies. Now, let us say that the distance between the screen and the output is 2 mm. Find the diameter of the image that is formed. Diameter divided by 2 gives us the radius. So, once you know the length and the radius of the image that is formed on the screen, you can calculate the value of sin theta using the formula r upon root l square plus r square. And the numerical aperture is given by sin theta a. So, repeat the same experiment for different distances. 2 mm, 4 mm, 6 mm and 8 mm. So, as you go away and away, as the distance increases, the size of the image also increases. Note the corresponding radius. And for convenience sake, we have concentric circles on the screen. The diameter of each concentric circle is 5 millimeters. If you can focus the light onto one concentric circle and note down the length and the diameter, you can easily get the radius. So, concentrate on the first concentric circle, it is 5 millimeters, so that the radius is 2.5. So, it is easy for the convenience sake, we have made concentric circles, otherwise you will have to measure the diameter of the image that is formed and calculate the radius and find out the numerical aperture. Let us discuss what we have seen now. We have switched on the light source. Light is allowed to propagate through the optical fiber and then the output is screened on concentric circles of known diameter on the numerical aperture jig. We have first adjusted the distance capital L to be 2 meters. Distance L here is the distance from the output to the screen which we have considered as capital L which is 2 meters and we have noted down the radius. After noting down the radius we are now going to vary the distance L that is the distance between the output and the screen say to 4, 6 and 8. So for varying distances of L we are going to note down the corresponding radius. 
so we can tabulate the readings for different values of l and r and we may also repeat the experiment for different lights here we'll be using a laser source light of single uh, wavelength monochromatic source you may repeat the experiment for different wavelengths and also observe the numerical aperture now in the tabular column the first is you have to note down the distance between the source and the screen as capital l we are noting it in millimeter so let it be 2 millimeter now the radius of the concentric circle that is formed means the image is focused into the concentric circle of diameter 5 millimeter. So if the diameter is 5 millimeter, the radius is d upon 2. So that will be 2.5. So when we have kept it at a distance of 2 millimeter, the image or the output is focused onto a concentric circle of 5 millimeter diameter. So the radius is 2.5. So the numerical aperture here is r upon r square plus l square power half. We calculate you get 0.781. We are going to see the sample calculation. And once we get numerical aperture, we can also find theta using sine inverse of numerical aperture. And repeat the experiment for various distances 4, 6 and 8, note down the values of R and calculate the readings. Let us see the sample calculation using this formula. So the numerical aperture is given by R. So for the first reading, the value of R is 2.5 upon under root R square, that is 2.5 whole square plus L square that is 2 square. So you can simplify this 2.5 under root 6.25 plus 4. So that will be 2.5 under root 10.25. So this will give us 0 0.7808. This is the numerical aperture. So once we get the numerical aperture, we can also find theta a. Theta a is simply sine inverse. Sine inverse of numerical aperture that is 0 0.7808. So sine inverse of this will be 51 degree. So for this particular length and for particular radius, we get the numerical aperture as 0 0.7808 and theta a is 51 degree. Now we can find the average of all the readings and write the numerical aperture as a result. The same way take the average of all the acceptance angles and the average acceptance angle is written as theta a. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.